Hello everyone. Welcome you all to this new video. So till now in module three, we had discussed with the concepts of the, some of the coding techniques in the previous videos, that is a uh, Huffman coding and uh, Shannon and coding algorithm. In that also, we have tried to solve a lot of problems and make you clear about the concept. And, uh, the one, the, this completes the first part of the module that is information theory. Now comes the probabilities that is distributed. Okay. We have, for that, we need to be knowing some concepts of channel models and probability matrices that is with respect to two different sets of probabilities A and B. We have one concept called as joint probability matrix. Okay. So that we are going to be seeing in the next video. But before that, before knowing that JPM, that is joint probability matrix concept, some of the basic fundamentals of channel models with respect to discrete memoryless channels you need to be knowing for the set of dif discrete communication channels okay for that some probability functions are there and you need to be defining that that we are going to be discussing in this video with respect to the concept of channel models okay so those who are new to this video please like this video subscribe to our channel and uh, don't skip any of the videos guys okay so let us start with the today's concept of channel models the discrete communication channels can be modeled by representing them by a set of input alphabets which is given by x is equal to x1, x2 up to xi consisting of i symbols okay and a set of output alphabets y is equal to y1, y2, yj consisting of j symbols and a set of conditional probabilities for that the conditional probability is generally defined as p of yj divided by xi. What do you mean by like this term? I'm going to be telling in the later stage. Just for the time sake, you just remember this is called as the set of conditional probabilities which consists of the input and output symbols X and Y. Okay. In other words, a discrete memoryless channel DMC is completely described by the set of transition probabilities that is P of YJ divided by XI where XI denotes the input symbol, YJ denotes the output symbol and P of YJ divided by XI denotes the probabilities of receiving symbol yj given that xi was set that is in this way it is defined so this is the probability conditional probability p of yj um, uh, divided by si which consists of input symbols which are these are the input symbols x1 x2 up to S, so xi that is given and with respect to some noise generated the output is given uh, given as y1 y2 up to yj okay in generally in this way, the P of YJ divided by XI is defined as. You see here, for a set of input symbols X1, X2 up to Xn, the probability matrix is given by P of Y1 by X1 and it goes on, that is P of Y2 by X1, Y3 by X1 up to P of Y1 by X1 and here also like this, if you see P of Y1 by X2, Y1 by X3 up to Y1 by Xn and uh, Ym by Xn. Okay, so this is the discrete communication channel with respect to conditional probability form. So now this is the basic part you need to be knowing that is in a discrete memory list channel it consists of uh, x, x input alphabets and y output alphabets and they are uh, given through this conditional probability with respect to the noise generated. Now the actual concept come that is called as channel matrix. So with respect to this conditional probability function p of yj comma x uh, divide by xi we are having one term called as channel matrix or probability transition matrix which are going to be which we are going to be using in the problems in the uh, most uh, effective manner okay so for that you need to be knowing this concept of channel matrix so let us see what is given here the conditional probability as i have told you previously that is p of yj by xi are due to the channel impairments or channel noise that modifies the input symbols xi into yj resulting in error at the output of the channel e the conditional probabilities P of YJ divided by XI is defined as the channel transition probability which is denoted by P of IJ. Okay. So these conditional probabilities can be represented in the form of matrix with all the input symbols represented row wise and output symbols represented column wise. Okay. So like this the input and output symbols are represented in the matrix that is uh, all the input symbols are represented in the row wise and output symbols are represented in column wise so that i'll tell you later what you mean by that such a matrix is known as probability transition matrix or channel matrix okay so now let us consider a discrete memoryless source having an input alphabet x is equal to x1 x2 x3 and output alphabet y equal to y1 y2 y3 y4 the various transition probabilities are marked on a channel diagram 
shown in this figure. So this concept, this figure is there, right? Is simply called as the representation and it is called as a channel diagram for the different set of transition probabilities. You see here how it is given as input, input probabilities are x1, x2, x3 input alphabets and output alphabets are y1, y2, y3, y4. They are represented, represented by nodes here. You could be seeing, right? And x1 is getting connected to all the four nodes. You see here x1 is getting connected to y1, y2, y3 as well as y4. Same goes with x2 as well. It is connected to y1, y2, y3, y4. x3 is also connected to y1, y2, y3, y4. All these input nodes are connected to four of the output nodes. And based on that, the probabilities are also generated. That is P of y1 by x1 can be also given. Uh, the probability flowing through this can be given as P11. And uh, for x1 and y2, it is given by P12. x1 and y3, it is given by P13. And so on for all the sets of probabilities. Okay. So this diagram is called as channel diagram. Okay, so that is only written with respect to channel matrix. We cannot be writing it randomly based on whatever is there in the channel matrix. Based on that only the channel diagram is formed. So this is the concept of channel diagram. Hope it is clear. Now in figure 3.3, P11 is the probability that Y1 will be received when X1 was transmitted. That is P11 is given in generally as P of Y1 by X1. P12 is P of Y2 by X1, P13 is P of Y3 by X1 and so on. Therefore, the complete channel matrix is given by P of Y by X with respect to these uh, variated uh, variable probabilities for X1, X2, X3 and Y1, Y2, Y3, Y4. So this is that matrix form for the above uh, channel alphabets mentioned. That is P11, P12, P13, P14, P21, P22, P23, P24, P31, P233, P34. Okay. Since each input to the channel results in some output, each row of the channel matrix must be unity. Why? Because the probability is in total is unity, right? So that's why each row, whatever the result we get, that is if you consider this x1 row, the probability of x1 would always be unity. So based on whatever the value is there, if we add all of these values in the row, we would be getting the final answer as 1 itself. So that thing you should be knowing, that is in general it is given by summation of j equal to 1 to n, P of y j divided by xi is equal to 1 for all the values of i. Okay. Further, the input probabilities P of x are represented by row matrix. That is P of xi is given by P of x1, P of x2 up to P of xn. And uh, output probabilities P of yj is given by P of y1, y2, y, ym. Okay. So these things you would know, know, be knowing. And from the probability theory with respect to the basics of probability, we know that P of A comma B is equal to P of B by A into P of A. So this condition, I am highlighting it again. I am writing it in a blue marker because this is very important. Okay. Because this is the main relation between channel matrix and joint probability matrix. Okay. This formula, you should not be forgetting at all. You should be remembering it thoroughly. Okay. So please uh, don't forget this here. The P of A comma B is called as the joint probability of A and B. In this case, if we let A equal to Xi and B equal to Yj, then P of Xi comma Yj is given by P of Yj by Xi into P of Xi. Here, P of Xi comma Yj is the probability of Xi and Yj. If we add all the joint probabilities for a fixed value of Yj, then we get P of Yj is equal to summation of I equal to N P of Xi comma Yj. Okay. So this gives the probability of getting the symbol Yj as follows. That is, P of yj is equal to summation of i equal to 1 to n. Whatever the uh, P of xi comma yj is there, that would be equal to P of yj by xi into P of xi, where j varies from 1 to m. Suppose the jth symbol is uh, received with when the ith symbol is transmitted, an error will re result in this case. Hence, the probability of error, that is error probability can be written as uh, P of E is equal to summation of J equal to 1 to M when not equal to I as P of YJ. Okay, so this is optional. This is not required. Okay. So these are the basic fundamentals which you need to be remembering remembering under channel models. Okay. So these things you please, please note it down. It is very important. In the next video, we are going to be discussing with the concept of joint probability matrix. So let us see you in the next video. Thank you.